God, Jesus. All right, one, two, three. So I'm literally a mom now, like, I took a pregnancy test today and I am pregnant. I am a mom. Holy shit. I volume. I volume. pregnant right now all right godfather so what you can help me get is this uh what's it called water <laughs> in the future you can help me get uh what's it called a car seat oh these are so cute oh I'm having a girl though. I'm claiming it. So but the like girl, it. nah. Girls could wear some cute green ones. These are cute. I like the green ones. Oh, she could be a tomboy and a girly girl all at the same time. I really don't like the this stuff though for the girl. I like the boy stuff better, honestly. The boy stuff is cuter, but I guess. A girl could wear this. This is cute. It's like neutral. Cool. Okay. <sighs> what the hell happened to you? I'm not sure. Uh, Y'all, I'm about to be a whole mom. Oh, so cute. And so expensive. You gonna be so Okay, so welcome back to the vloggy vlog vlog. Alright, so I've decided I was going to start vlogging my pregnancy journey because I hadn't had any content ideas that I came up with that I wanted to do. I was like, God, what am I going to record for my YouTube? I was going to do weight loss, but <laughs> then I found out I was pregnant and I was like, okay, so this is what the Lord is calling me to record now. So I really don't know how far along I am. Because I literally just took a test like four days ago. I'm not going to the doctors until January. So until then, I was just going to track and let you know how my days are going. And really just get in my environment prepared for a child. So I cleaned, deep cleaned my kitchen yesterday. And then I like deep cleaned my living room and everything. And so today I'm going to do like my bathroom and my bedroom. Even though I really don't want to, but yeah, I'm just trying to clean my environment to prepare for a child that's going to be here. So since finding out I was pregnant, I've been taking these my kind prenatals. I don't know if they're good or not. I did like a little research. They were expensive. Uh, it comes with like 30. So I haven't had any bad reactions since I started taking them, but I'm taking like one of these a day I'm trying to increase my water intake and yeah that's pretty much all I've been doing so far for the pregnancy I've noticed the increase of appetite and breast tenderness that's about it so far everything else seems pretty normal but I am really trying to get a lot of stuff done before I get like super tired I know that probably won't come to like way later anyways but that's just what I'm doing. Acne. I've been struggling with acne for a minute. So, yeah. I don't anticipate experiencing anything in my pregnancy probably until probably at least once I'm six weeks pregnant. So, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so, today is day two of my journey of pregnancy vlog. Um, it's been a week since I've known I've been pregnant. 
still no symptoms really i just been getting acne but i'm not sure if i've been having acne before this already um breast tenderness and increase in appetite have been the two things that have really just yeah um but since becoming or getting on this journey i realized that i need to work on my self-love at the end of the day those are like the things that really matter to me so i've been trying to say affirmations so basically each day i just been saying proverbs 31 to myself it is i am myself. i am a capable and intelligent woman full of virtue and more precious than rubies so that's me this is the look for today i really enjoy it i'm gonna wear this on saturday i got a new like nose ring i was gonna take it out but i kind of want to put it back in welcome to the first pregnancy vlog um yeah back at school and today was the first morning i had morning sickness and i was just like great um i hope this is not an everyday thing i am praying to Je jesus oh god i feel like i'm already getting sick or just the thought of being sick just made me sick um it's cold like it's really cold here I need to order a new space heater immediately because this is a no. I'm not gonna be able to do this cold in the morning each day. Absolutely not. Yeah, I honestly don't even know where I left off at school in terms of where I left at teaching these kids. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna have the capacity to teach. I can't make that an excuse because I'm predators, but it's just like I also run a after school club that I was supposed to plan for but it didn't yeah so needless to say today's the first day getting back to it but today I'm starting my financial fast and just overall fast with God so I'm going to add all of this to the list of what I would like to see happen. But basically, I am just praying to carry this child safely. I am praying to um, get through these lessons and all of that efficiently, effectively. Get through this grading one. I just, I don't know, I'm praying for a lot. But... Yeah, now that I'm back at school, the pressure is kind of like back on, but yeah. So I forgot about the never ending task at work. So I guess I'll come check back in later. My stomach is finally settled. Thank you, Jesus. I'll take that. Just a quick update. Pretty much <laughs> the students as to be expected, um, found out it spread like wildfire that I am preggers so um I kind of was regretting posting it but not really because it was like I mean it was something I wanted to do in the moment it felt good in that moment to do but yeah so anyways my nausea this morning was insane like i could not eat to save my life but i ended up bringing some food to work so i ate that and then we have like a food truck guy come and he brings food so i got this salmon salad i thought i was not supposed to eat seafood come to find out i'm allowed to eat seafood i've been craving it so i got this little salad to eat for dinner tonight it smells so good and then he sells these like really cool lemonade so this is hibiscus lemonade i'm about to bust down while i can because like literally if i'm nauseous i can't eat anything like no matter if i want to or not and i've been drinking and guzzling my water so i'm getting my hair done today 
and then I could finally start feeling like myself again. Have you seen my holiday nails? Look at my holiday nails. They're so cute. Sorry. So, yeah, that's about it. I'm just catching up on grading because, like I said, since holiday break and me finding out about this, I've just been lost. But I've been catching up on work. Mm. This right here is so good. I'm going to see if he's still here. I'm waiting for my car to heat up and then I am going to get my hair done. It's been weeks, y'all. Y'all only know the madness that's going on up here. I'm so happy. Finally getting back to myself. Nails done, hair done, everything about to be good. I just had like the most intense craving all of a sudden i have to get some hot fries before i go to this hair appointment because like it just came to my mind and i was like i need hot fries like it's a need like i'm gonna cry if i don't get it that's how bad of a need it is but i have to get gas first so while i'm getting gas i'm going to go and get some hot fries Yo, that is crazy. When I tell you that's crazy, I mean that is crazy. <laughs> and you. I'm probably gonna be regretting this later, but we'll go with it for now. Y'all, I don't feel like my hair is growing. Like, it just stays at this same length. This is when I always, this, it, we always get to this length before I want to just chop it off. We'll see. So, good news is no morning sickness. I had like two little small moments of like nausea, I want to say. Like two small moments where I was just like, but it subsided pretty quickly the only thing was i was super tired like i have been having really bad sleep over the past couple weeks since i found out i was pregnant but then yesterday i had like really really good sleep but i like went to bed super late and then i had to wake up early for work so i felt like i got no sleep that's how good it was and then I got to work really early, so I sat in the car and went to sleep for an hour <laughs> and then woke up. And then we had a meeting and I was like falling asleep in the meeting, trying not to because I'm so exhausted. So after work today, I'm going straight to sleep because I literally sleep all the time. Or I've been feeling super tired. So that's like, I guess kind of new. Um, I got a make griddle I'm about to bust down real quick and we have like, I have like no coverage. I have like these planning periods. So I'm gonna get a lot of work done, hopefully, even though I'm super tired. So. Y'all, I wanted Taco Bell so bad and I don't even know why, but cravings. What do y'all get? I get the Mexican pizza. So I go, my card was not working and then I was getting ready to cry because there's no service and so I was getting ready to call the bank everything. I was like, can you please hold my order? The lady came back and she was like, just take this. I was like, they probably think this broke. Y'all, I'm about to bust this thing down. Mm. Not, not on my mind. Welcome to a new week of the vlog. I have officially a week and a half before my first doctor's appointment and I'm going to church today. I'm so cold. I have pregnancy brain. I be forgetting things and all that. Since I'm pregnant, I really love the way my makeup kind of came out. Like y'all, I got my lashes done for the first time and I thought they looked so scary at first, but they're starting to grow on me. What do y'all think? Anyways, I don't know. I've been trying to just have like this pregnancy glow, I guess. Um, 
but I'm really late for church. It's honestly almost 9.30. I'm supposed to be there at 9.30. It takes me 30 minutes to get there. I probably won't get there until the word starts. I have to go get gas. And I can't function without any hot tea or hot chocolate or anything hot because my stomach just literally cannot take it in the morning. Um, or else I'll throw up. And we don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So, I just... I'll talk to y'all about my pregnancy symptoms soon. But yeah, I was so convinced like to buy another pregnancy test because y'all, I still cannot believe I'm pregnant. Um, I've been having really vivid dreams lately too. It's been weird. Pregnancy has been weird for me. But yeah, I woke up feeling really good today. Like, I'm ready to take on the world. I'm ready to be beautiful and just gorgeous and just amazing. And yeah, I did my hair. I'm thinking about buying some extensions just because I really want something new and different. Like, I'm tired of seeing my hair every day. Like, maybe we'll see. I believe I let my gas tank get this bad. <laughs> Almost hit the curb. Why well, shouldn't try? I cannot believe I've let my gas tank get this bad. I'm literally hyperventilating right now. Like, please. The gas is literally down the street. Can I please make it to the gas station? Please the gas station thank god because i was just like i cannot do this if i have if i stop in the middle of the road that's the end of my day and i have to walk to the gas station pregnant girl no i'm not doing that i refuse but anyways i'm about to order this starbucks why wait because the starbucks is right down the street and then we gonna be good to go. Fun fact, I always get the caramel apple spice at Target. I don't drink coffee, so I don't know if that's like important information or not, but just so you know. I just went to brunch with my family after church. The service was bomb, guys. Like the service was servicing. I actually really enjoyed it. And so, I'm now about to go get my feet done today. I'm so excited to get my feet done. I'm probably going to spend some money on it. That's how much, like, when I show you my toes, you're going to be like, why would you even let it get that bad? I don't know. So, y'all, oh my god. Oh my god. So we're going to just ignore the eyelash glue that is still on my eyelashes. Um, but I started to cry. I didn't take off all my makeup. As you can see, I was just so lazy. But I literally started to cry because I asked my brother to get me Chipotle. And he brought me a bowl and I asked for steak and he brought me carne asada instead of steak which it is steak but I just wanted the regular steak and then they didn't have ginger ale so he got me Sprite but I needed ginger ale for my nausea I didn't get mad at him or anything he left because he was like I'm leaving now I just came to bring you this so I'm grateful he brought it to me but as soon as he left, I started to cry because it wasn't what I wanted. And then I just got really sad and I was like, there's no way I'm crying over this. There's no way. But I am. And then I started to cry even more because my stomach hurts and I'm afraid to throw up. But I'm so hungry. So... Then I started hating pregnancy, and then last but not least, I got these press-ons because I hate getting my nails done. Like, it just, I hate the feeling of it, so I wear press-ons instead. But then, one of them popped off already, and I'm just like, this is the worst day ever. So, I've been crying, eating my Chipotle. You better believe I'm still eating it in the bed and everything. I just can't with today. Like, I want today to be over. I couldn't sleep because I've been sick and nauseous. Like, honestly, I'll take this over extreme nausea where you're, like, throwing up all day. But my morning sickness is, like, 
just nausea all day long and I hate it so much. It makes me want to cry, but I haven't. But today, when he messed up my Chipotle order, I just lost it. Like, I just cried so much. Like, so much. And I'm like, you know what? I don't even care. I've been trying not to cry at all for the baby. I want the baby to see or to feel like I'm happy to not hear me cry. But today, I was just like, looks, I'm crying today because I just can't. So that's my TED Talk, and I guess we'll end the vlog here. So I'll see you next time. Oh, so my cravings have been really on and off. So I made cupcakes the other day because I was like desperately craving a cupcake. And then after I made the cupcakes, I was like, I don't want a cupcake anymore. So then now I'm like hungry. And by the way, my cupcakes kind of look really ugly. <laughs> Anyways, I was like, I really want a cupcake now. And I don't know if I burned it or not. It's a little dry. I kind of did a bad job. I don't have the proper storage container for this. A little dry honestly not a little very but it's still good it's still buzz all right i'm tired of the cupcake for now mm. it's like weird When I'm nauseous, I want to eat. And then I eat and I don't feel nauseous no more. And then after I finish eating, then I get nauseous again. Very interesting. So I'm about to eat my Chipotle and then be done. Mm. Guys, let's just forget everything about what I said about the first trimester being a blast. I haven't puked. I haven't thrown up. I haven't had a bad experience because these three days, baby, have been by far the worst. They my existence i can't even begin to describe it because if i even say the words out loud i'm probably going to hurl and i've hurled twice today and what's crazy about it is after you do that i don't feel any better than before bands that <laughs> I'm not even sure if it'll help if it will ginger ale over and over again Functioning. 
everything makes me queasy. Past two days was a rough two days. Fortunately, we didn't have school yesterday. And um, no school today. Thank God. And today I decided I'm going to get up because I need to get ready for my appointment tomorrow. Finally, tomorrow. And then, uh, overall, I just have to get out of this space that just is ill. Like literally ill. I can't even think straight. I just take little bites of food. I can't sleep last night. It's just all awful. I eat grapes, bananas, oranges, pretty much fruit. Crackers here or there. Um, oatmeal. Sometimes. That's it. I don't know. Eat like full on meals. Mm -mm. Watermelon. I can't drink water. Orange juice and ginger ale mixed together has been better. Yogurt was like good for a little bit, but now it's not good no more. Ew. Everything is just disgusting. Literally disgusting. Alright, I'm feeling queasy again. Bye bye. Why my camera has a glare in you? I don't have time to figure it out. I'm feeling a little better than I was, so. I'm in the car now, I just got some gas, and I'm about to go to my doctor's appointment, so I guess I'll see you there. Baby is eight weeks today. Um, we're seeing, we're gonna get the ultrasound. You see, baby? Uh-huh. It's much clearer, right? So this is the baby head, arms, little legs. And we're going to measure in how big the baby is. And we do see this is the only one baby. What's that and thing next to it? This is the yuxod. That's each baby has one yuxod. 